And now, it's time for Comfort Time Live. Comfort Time Live. Comfort Time Live is a call-in show where you can call in and discuss air conditioning, heating, energy savings, indoor air quality, and dealing with contractors. Comfort Time Live. And now, here's your host, your personal comfort consultant, tackling all of your home comfort issues. Here he is, live on your radio, Tom Platania. Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Comfort Time Live. Man, I like these new headphones. They're nice, huh? Yeah, man. It's like I could actually hear myself and, man. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> I, I'm just going to sit here and talk to myself throughout the whole show and see how I sound. No ego there. Wow. No, no, no. It's an occupational hazard. Yeah. If you get behind a microphone on a regular <laughs> basis, Gosh. these things happen. Sounds great. You know, there's always wow. 866 numbers you could work for. Maybe if you I like. could romance myself. There uh, you go. <laughs> you could start your own 900 number. <laughs> oh, I love this. The headphones are nice. I'm liking that. It was worth the money. Good. Yeah. Good. I'm glad. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, no, ladies and gentlemen, with me, my ever-loving co-host, Mr. Dino Cook. Good morning, everybody. We're gonna actually uh, we're gonna be working on uh, redoing the intro so we can get uh, Dino on there, so it uh, actually it offers both of us up. It's almost there. Tom it's almost done. And Dino. Good morning. It's comfort time live. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get that sound. We have to get that sound effect. That's, That's a Hanna Barbera <laughs> thing. <laughs> got to credit the creators. Uh, well, all kinds of great things happen at Comfort Time Live, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, one big thing is. The website, we have uh, updated the website uh, tremendously. There's all kinds of great stuff going on. Um, now, if you go to comforttimelive.com, you are going to um, you're going to see all kinds of new things. Uh, one, we have a lot of new sponsors. Um, we also have uh, some new. I don't know, some other things that uh, we can't quite mention, but you got to go to Comfort Time Live to see them. And uh, it, it's all revamped. Uh, there's a lot more information on there now uh, for you to look at. Uh, just really, really happy with the changes. Really happy. Very, very excited about what's going to be happening here very soon. Yeah, I, I am. Yeah, and uh, but you got to go to ComfortTimeLive.com to see it. I can't talk about it on the radio, but the minute you log in to ComfortTimeLive.com, up in the right-hand corner, you're going to see three things. Each of them dictates to call in live to a certain thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that leaves that wide, wide open. open. <laughs> So when you do to ComfortTimeLive.com, look in the upper right-hand corner. And out of the three links there, look at the bottom one. And that is what we are absolutely just tinkled pink. It's going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow. At 3 o'clock. And, uh, and we're moving on up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, great stuff. Comfort Time Live is, uh, after three and a half years, we're really, uh, really growing. And it's all because of you, ladies and gentlemen. You know, every time I, I look at my emails and whatnot, I have listeners from Comfort Time Live that, that email me. And you can do that by going to ComfortTimeLive.com. And there's a little link that says Contact Us. And when you click on that, you have an opportunity to contact us and, um, and, and email us questions. Yes. You know, any, any kind of question that involves your home. Anything. Anything under the roof. Well, you know, lawn care, um, you know, bring up lawn care. You know, it doesn't have to be under your roof, but on your property would be great, too. Yeah, absolutely. And anything. And, you know, and if, if, if Dino and I are not able to answer the question, we will do our best to either go to one of our sponsors. Yep. Who we actually have some new, some great exciting new sponsors that we're going to talk about here in a little bit that's that really cool um just absolutely ecstatic you know and it I, I think i think about i think about one of our sponsors every morning right about six thirty, um right around then it's just it's just consistently every single morning right around six thirty. i think of the this same questionable look comes across <laughs> my face and i'm worried now yeah 
not a plumbing uh, situation, how, how, is it? How, how did you know that, Cliff? Well, it's important. <laughs> uh, just things of importance. Well, that's actually one of our sponsors. But what we do is if we can't answer the question, and, and something new that we're going to be doing here on Corporate Time Live is th if the question is regarding one of the things that our sponsors talk about, we are going to call that sponsor live. That's awesome. To be able to have somebody standing by. Yep. Yep, absolutely. And, you know, it does a couple different things, but we're going to call them, and then we're going to let them know that we have a listener on the air. Now, of course, we're going to call them off air. This way they don't, you know, we don't put them too much on the spot. Right. We're going to call them off air. We're going to let them know that we have a listener that has a question. Let them know the question. Give them a second to collect themselves, and then mm -hmm. we're going to put them live on the air to answer the listener's question. And, you know, a couple of the great things this is going to do is, one, it's going to show the responsiveness of our sponsors, which to me is huge. You know, one thing that just upset me, I had a little fender bender on my car. Okay? A little one? A little one. Which side was that? Both. Another one? Okay. Actually, oh. both, yeah, on the front. And just a small one. And, you know, I call my, I call my State Farm agent, okay? They said they're going to send a claims adjuster out right away. Okay. So wait for a phone call. I called... Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon goes by, Tuesday <laughs> evening goes by, Wednesday morning goes by, dun, dun, and dun, State dun, Farm dun, is not dun, there. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so finally, Thursday morning, I pick up the phone and call them and say, hey, guys, um, I can't drive my car at night because my headlight's out, and it's going to cost me 800 bucks to replace the headlight assembly on my brand new car. Wow. Um, so when are you going to send somebody out? Oh, somebody hasn't contacted you yet, Mr. Plotania? Uh, well, would I be calling you if they did? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, thank you for the phone call. Hello. Uh, Dumb here, question number here, 79. Yeah, here's your sign. Right, right. <laughs> so um, two seconds later, I get a phone call. And the lady goes, oh, well, Mr. Pultania, we don't need to send an adjuster out as long as you use one of our, our competent companies to go ahead and do the estimate for you. Oh, really? Oh, keyword competent. For letting yeah. us know. So are you telling me that three days ago when this happened that the lady at the office could have just said, if you just use one of these, we don't have to send a claims adjuster out, and I could have already had my car being worked on, and I'd have to worry about it. Once again, competent. Yes. Well, you know, I don't know. Anyway, frustrated the heck out of me. So anyway, I'm going to leave after this, go get a ticket and look at But Well, what, anyways, tell us, Tom, what do we have exciting going on today that we can tell our listeners? Well, we are introducing two new, absolutely exciting sponsors to the show, okay? And uh, one of them is Benjamin Franklin Plumbing. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. and Great company. Uh, the owner, Bob, and I have uh, been in communication for a long time. We're actually both doing some work with the Church Coast Builders Association. And Bob is an absolute amazing individual in this community. Okay? Uh, Bob Ludham is the owner of Ben Franklin Plumbing and also Aqua Dimensions. The man has his hand in every cookie jar you can imagine wow. when it comes to dealing with unlicensed contractors, dealing with the, the, the Builders Association. I mean, just anything you think of, this man is doing something to help the, the public. Not only that, but he also owns a great company that he does his best to instill his values into his people. And they're, they're a pretty impressive company. And, and as you know, we, and Cliff, you know this from over the years, very, very picky about who I bring on this show. That's right. Except when it comes to co-hosts. I, well, <laughs> I kind of lowered my standards on that. Hey, man. You know, you were fishing for the DNA sample that ended on the floor. You know, here I am. He was looking for a bus since, <laughs> since he met you, right? Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, it was funny. We used to have, and we could we still get this going, as the, uh, Randy Dunn, who was the uh, other co-host here before he ended up getting a real job. Yeah, right. <laughs> a paying job. A paying job. Um, we used to have a joke in the morning that we'd bust each other's chops, and Cliff would have on the computer, he'd have an actual school bus that would drive across the bus every time one of us rode the bus over the other one by oh, cracking a joke on him. Oh, we, we had a good time. So we threw him under the bus again, and there goes the bus. You know? <laughs> um, so good stuff. So Ben Franklin Plumbing. Now, here's a really cool thing about Ben Franklin that really excited me is their guarantees. And... Um, this is something that you really don't see out there often, and I really need to find that on the page. I actually just had it up. Um, there we go, our guarantee. Um, now, Ben Franklin is, lo is located uh, locally. It's, it's a national company, but the franchisee local uh, is right off of Macedo, just, uh, which is just 
just west of Bayshore. Okay. Just yep. south yep. of Crosstown Parkway. So if you're headed down Bayshore south, you would turn on one of those streets just south of Crosstown, go over to Macedo, and they're right down there uh, on the side. But um, he, here's their... Here, here's one of the things that really excites me is if there is any delay from the times that they give you, and they're not going to give you a time that's between 8 and 5. Well, Mr. Cook, we understand that you have a plumbing backup, and, well, we'll have one of our licensed technicians out there between 8 and 5. Will that be uh, Yeah, would that be convenient for you? So I have to wait around between 8 and 5 to, uh, you know, waste my time standing around for somebody to come to my house between 8 and 5. That's no, that's not acceptable. Well, you're pretty intelligent to figure that out, sir, that between 8 and 5, we'd be there to service you. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you have any questions or comments, give us a call here at the studio, 340-1590, the number to call. Um, you know, the, the, the topics we've been talking about, but anything you want to talk about, ladies and gentlemen, but we're going to spend a few minutes just kind of introducing our new sponsors right now. So one thing that I like about them is if there is any delay it's you we pay that's their motto it's actually a registered trademark that they have if there's any delay it's you we pay and it says if we're not on time we meaning ben franklin plumbing pays the homeowner yeah we does not include tom or dino no no actually not no <laughs> the uh, views and expressions <laughs> discussed here on cover time live have nothing to do with our financial <laughs> um, it's Ben Franklin Plumbing that pays you, the client, the consumer, $5 for each minute that they're late. Wow. Now, how accurate do they need to be in order to do something like that? Well, they're either going to be early or dead on time, but, you know, with a guarantee like that, Take your time well, in well, my house. Well, now, if I told you 8 to 5, that gives me a lot of leeway, but they're not going to give you 8 to 5. I think um, and if uh, I think Bob might be calling in here in a little bit, but I'm going to ask him a specific question. What is the time frame? And I want to say it's an hour to two-hour window that they give the homeowner, but hmm. I'm not 100% sure, and we'll find that out. But $5 for every minute, and that's up to $300 maximum. So, I don't know, do the math. How many minutes? There you go. Mr. Chemistry Wizard, how many minutes would they pay you if you had... Oh, there you go. Good. <laughs> I got to bring the calculator out. You know how I can't do this in my head. Oh, Dude, I can barely tie my shoes and chew <laughs> bubble gum at the same time. But here's another cool thing about Ben Franklin Plumbing. They actually have the rights to the song and to the number 8675309. Really? Does that ring a bell, Cliff? Eight six seven five three zero nine. They actually have the rights now. I, I forget. Um, I forget what the. Uh, um, I forget what the um, the beginning numbers are. I want to say eight six six, eight six six, eight six seven five three zero nine. Of course, the eight six six. That really would have been a good song. Would no, it? no, 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 no. Eight six six, eight six. So. Uh, but great way it's, it's, it's an easy number to remember but you can contact the number also you can go to ben franklin plumbing florida.com or you can go to comfort time live website and go ahead and link in there all right so we're going to take a quick break when we come back we're going to uh talk about one of our other sponsors who you actually may hear their commercial as soon as we go to break um elite electric so you're listening to tom and dino on comfort time live we'll be back in just a moment Elite Electric, specializing in all your electrical needs, from security lighting to surge protection and everything in between. How do you think they got their name? Elite Electric. Elite Electric has been family owned and operated on the Treasure Coast since 1988, and they're recommended by Comfort Time Live. Visit online at EliteElectricAndAir.com and learn more about their services. Elite Electric, service today. Proud sponsor of Comfort Time Live, Friday mornings at 11 on WPSL 15. Benjamin Franklin Plumbing would like to help you schedule some help, whatever on-time help you need. For plumbing emergencies like a busted water heater, go to schedulesomehelp.com. Sewage problems? Schedulesomehelp.com. If water is dripping from your ceiling, schedulesomehelp.com. If you need help repairing that leaky faucet or upgrading your showerhead, schedulesomehelp.com. Want help with your golf game? Yep. 
schedulesomehelp.com. Right now, get help for $25 at schedulesomehelp.com. Limitations and exclusions apply. See schedulesomehelp.com for full details. Tired of struggling to find the right air conditioning contractor? Heard those horror stories about people being scammed out of thousands of dollars? Well, Comfort Time Live has found a great air conditioning contractor that they approve and you can trust. Ranger Air Conditioning Service. Ranger has been in business on the Treasure Coast for more than 38 years, providing the best in quality and customer service. Ranger Air Conditioning Service is family owned and operated by Tom Ranger. He and his highly trained staff and team members are waiting to earn your business. So give Ranger Air Conditioning Service a call at 772-546-7777. That's Ranger Air Conditioning Service at 772-546-7777 and recommended by Comfort Time Live. Don't forget to tell them you heard about them here on WPSL 1590 and receive a special discount. And now back to Comfort Time Live with Tom and Dino. Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, it's kind of uh, kind of cool that just as we were getting ready to introduce one of our new sponsors, mm -hmm. the, uh, the head of janitorial supplies for the company <laughs> decided to give us a call. The head of janitorial. <laughs> you're, you're being funny, right? Yes, I am being oh, funny. Okay. John, how you doing this morning? Hi there. How you doing? <laughs> doing good. Actually, John from Elite Electric is actually the owner. I'm just messing with him. He probably sometimes feels that way. He's kind of the do it do it all, right? Uh, sometimes, <laughs> yeah. Well, um, well, Elite Electric, Elite Electric. Now you've been on the Treasure Coast, John, um, and I hope I got this right. Since 1988. Uh, something like that. Yeah, about something 24 like, years. You don't you don't actually look much older than that, though. Uh, that's true. I started <laughs> out very young. A modest guy. Too, yeah, very right. modest guy. <laughs> um, so, John, so tell us a little bit about your business. Uh, well, we've been in business for like 24 years uh, right here on the Treasure Coast. Um, uh, we focus on primarily uh, uh, residential uh, service and repair for uh, electrical and air conditioning. Um, I know that's not our sponsorship, but... Uh, that's okay. That's all right. Um, but uh, we've been on Treasure Coast here for quite some time. Um, all of our uh, technicians are uh, drug tested, background checked. Uh, uh, so wait, we'll wait a minute, hold on, stop, I'm stop there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get anybody to work for you? <laughs> How many? What do you have? Like three employees? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We've got plenty of employees. Wow. Um, so drug test and background check everyone. Yes. So you can make sure that when when one of your technicians goes into a home, you know what the consumer, the customer can feel safe that somebody's not casing their house out at the same time. That is correct. That's excellent. Dr drug habits are not a cheap, and I don't personally know this, but uh, you were mentioning to me this earlier that drug habits are not very cheap habits to have. And, correct. Uh, so if somebody does have a habit and they're going into your home, they're going to need to help fund that. And, and you don't want to get stuck with a company that has a don't ask, don't tell drug uh, policy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we call that the military yeah, policy. Yeah, as I say, this is not the U.S. government. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh. Now, now, we've seen the riffraff over the years, and, and they come in to apply, and it's very interesting uh, when they sit down with our application, how many of them literally get up and walk right out the door. Hey, man, you hiring so. anybody today? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think Cheech and Chong are out in the, are out in the waiting room. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, yep. but, and I bet you it's also surprising how many people, even though that they know that they're going to be drug test or background check, will just lie, put something different, and hope that you don't find out. Uh, a lot of them don't think that we're serious. Yeah, and yeah. and literally, and and they put on a good show, and and uh, so we might get them to the point where they have to take a drug test, and then they fail. Yeah. And it's amazing how many people think that uh, the the drug tests don't work, you know, or they can fool them. Right. Oh, I I had I had that with an employee when I had my business. I actually had one that was able to fool it until it eventually caught up with him. He taped a bag to the inside of his thigh. Hmm. And that, you know, he knew that he was going to take a drug test and used somebody else's. And it took me a couple times until I finally said, okay, I let him walk in the door one day. I just put my arm around him and said, get in the car, let's go. And that's when we found out. Wait, was, did he keep coming up pregnant? <laughs> that's what I was going to say, yeah. If he, if he comes up pregnant, then that means that he used somebody uh, else's. Uh, 
fluid, yeah. Hey, by the way, you're doing about seven months. I just, you know. And your dog's in heat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, John, you're actually located just down the street from uh, Ben Franklin Plumbing, which yes. is kind of nice. That uh, it, it's kind of like a one-stop shop neighborhood. Uh, yeah, we <laughs> we, we actually uh, refer each other back and forth for sure. I like that. I um, like that. I've, I've known uh, Bob for quite some time, and and uh, uh, we've worked together for for I don't know, well over ten, fifteen years. Now, I was really impressed when. Um, you know, I, I stopped in to chit chat with John yesterday, and, and John and I've kind of known each other through the grapevines and whatnot over the years, between being into manufacturers and whatnot. But when I stopped by and talked to him yesterday, and really started digging through his business, and and saw that you like the hand gesture there. Well, you're, you're cussing me out in sign language. <laughs> um, I was really impressed on the organization in his company, and I mean. Somebody came in and asked him a question. Boom, he pulled it up on the computer. He was able to see where the technicians were, what happened at the, at the, the client's home. Um, you Almost know. in what, real time? Yeah, real time. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, that, that program's real time, right, John? Yes. Yeah, I mean, that is amazing. And, you know, the, the important thing is, is I think one thing that we miss in any of the businesses that deal with a homeowner is customer service and follow-up. Now, people at your business, your your clients, they're not numbers. They're customers, aren't they? That is correct. And that's a big difference. Um, and, John, how many how many uh, trucks do you have on the road? Uh, we have uh, five uh, service vehicles. We actually uh, have uh, two, two install trucks. Actually, I just bought one of them yesterday. Nice. I remember I told you I was, I was going to look at one. And, and, uh, oh, you so, did buy it. Good for you. Yeah. So you're growing yeah. and expanding. That means you're obviously keeping your clients happy. Right. Um, they're referring. Now, John is also, just like we were talking about um, Bob, John, you you're, you do a lot of stuff in the community too, don't you? Uh, yes. Yep. As a matter of fact, uh, we've done a lot of stuff with uh, Habitat, the police department, the city, uh, and this just actually came about yesterday, uh, which uh, it's kind of crazy how things work out, but... Uh, uh, yesterday, a friend of mine that I work with uh, pretty closely, Frankie, with uh, FTL Electric, um, he uh, he called me up and, and has uh, uh, volunteered him and myself to uh, do the electrical work over at the Civic Center for this uh, uh, steel from uh, 9-11 that just came in. Oh, wow. And, oh, excellent. And, and so he and I were discussing the process yesterday, and... Uh, I went to uh, coffee with the mayor here in Port St. Lucie this morning, and I was on my way inside, and the guys from the Civic Center grabbed me and said, oh, you're here to work. <laughs> and I'm like, it's a good thing I talked about this yesterday, because I wouldn't know what y'all are talking about, um, because it was supposed to be, you know, after next week was right. when we were supposed to start, but the, everybody was getting a jump on it, and so here I was uh, uh, taking a look and trying to figure out the the circuits here this morning for them well that is awesome that i mean now that has to say something about him as an individual oh yeah yeah you know one thing that i've always thought was really cool was that you know what you're community focused you know you're active in the community you know and i think our listeners you know i personally i like that i like seeing wow you're giving back to the community you're active in our community you know keeping our businesses local that's fantastic john right Awesome. And, and and we live here, so so yes. we want to take yeah. care of the community. Exactly, exactly. And it's kind of I, I'm reading your reading your bio online here, and it's funny. He actually started his business 1988 November in the back of his wife Jackie's pickup truck. You know, I joke around and I say that's why I married her because she had a truck. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't her good looks. Uh, Be well, careful on that one. <laughs> yes, yeah, absolutely. We're, we're, we're still married today. It's uh, 20, 24 years. So. And she is a, as when I walked into business, she is a very, very big part of the business. And uh, that's good that you guys have that great working relationship. Um, so, John, what would, if you were to tell our homeowners right now at this time of year, what do you think the number one thing folks should be looking out for right now at this time of year? Um, well, uh, considering the time of year, I mean, it's uh, we're just uh, hurricane season is upon us. Um, so, as far as around the home, I would be considering uh, the the things that are necessary if, if we do have a storm. Okay. So, uh, anything from you know making sure that they have their 
the, the supplies that everybody forgets to get and runs out to to uh, the store the couple days before. Um, but uh, from my aspect is uh, certainly generators. Right. And, you know, if you, if you are considering uh, a generator and or, uh, you know, how are you going to keep the, the lights on or the air conditioning and, and or just keep your refrigerator going for, for however long. There's a lot of folks that were here back in the storms and they were without power from, you know, anywhere from as short as a day to to in two two yeah. and three weeks. Yeah, absolutely. So. And a lot of those folks weren't even weren't prepared for that, and that's what kind of got them, uh, you know, in trouble. Now, do you do you what is the investment or what is the cost for you folks to come out and give somebody an estimate to see what they would want to hook up for a generator and what the investment for a generator would be? Uh, Forty nine dollars is our. Uh, service fee okay to All come right. out to the house and then we take a look at what the what the needs are what the wants are uh for anything from a uh some some of the younger folks i'll say are more apt to go with a uh, a portable and they plug it in and uh do a manual type uh setup a manual transfer switch okay and then uh, uh some of the older folks or or more established per se um they, they want everything automatic. Yeah, and and to where if the power goes out, the uh, the 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 generator will come right on, and they they literally would lose power for about fifteen seconds. I mean, you've got to have cable. I'm sorry. You know, if I'm losing power, <laughs> I am not going to live if my direct TV goes down. It's blowing 160 <laughs> mile an hour out there, but we're still sitting in the house with a Mai Tai watching cable. That's right. Uh, it, it's funny. We did that uh, a couple years back. Uh, my, my house was the safe house. I had the neighbors there. Uh, we had the AC going, and we're... Uh, we're watching TV. Uh, <laughs> you know, I want my house to be the only one in the neighborhood that's got lights, the pool's running. I'm going to have a little collection dish out front and a charge that's for people right. to come yep. in. <laughs> you, you do tend to become the envy of the neighborhood. That's right. Sorry. Invitation uh, only. Hey, John, tell me a little bit about, you know, we're talking about putting a generator since this is hurricane season and you have, you know, you sell portable and um, generators that are fixed. Yes. Name brands. What do you have? Uh, Generac. Uh, no, actually, uh, we use uh, our primary brands that we use are Briggs and Stratton and uh, GE. Oh, very nice. Good names. Uh, Good and, names. And they're the prime uh, uh, um, uh, standby. Uh, you know, automatic. Okay. And then, uh, for the most part, although we can purchase just about any generator out there. Uh, we most customers or a good majority of the customers that have they have portables already um and or uh for lack of better terms you can buy a generator cheaper than i can buy it for or as cheap from a good majority of the stores and or e online so so for the portables we physically don't sell them but we sell the hookup and the wiring for your home Oh, great. So you come in, you can wire the house up, yes. put the receptacle outside, so all I have to do is start a generator and plug it in. Yes. Oh, that sounds pretty simple. And, and flip a switch. Flip a switch. And flip a switch. Yeah, don't forget that. Yes. Flip the switch. <laughs> because then you'll be plugging in and calling Elite Electric going, well, how come this isn't working? Right. Did well, you flip the act, switch? Yep. Yep. The switch itself, and, and, and while we're talking about that just real quick, there are a lot of folks out there that you will hear the horror stories of them uh, – uh, plugging it in uh, to their dryer. Why can't we plug it oh. into the dryer? And or backfeed. You know, we want to we we want to backfeed this. As a matter of fact, I will send you some info on on backfeeding. Maybe you can put it on the website. Absolutely. Um, the dangers of. But in my own neighborhood, uh, this happened, uh, and I got to witness this. Somebody who had backfed a uh, uh, their panel via via their dryer. When FPL turned the power on in our neighborhood. It, it literally blew the transformer uh, da down the street. It was towards the end of the street, um, and it blew the transformer up. And the F FPL guy that was uh, hooking up the power said, "This is why we stand way far back from when we when we uh, put the fuses in." He says, "That was a backfed generator. I know it 
and wow. that person is now in trouble. <laughs> so back, go ahead. You're now, now, you know, well, question that I have, because, you know, I'm just not the smartest guy, especially when it comes to electric. And that's because why I brought him on board. I, I, right. Because I am the guy who would hook my generator up with a set of jumper cables <laughs> and, and connect it to my fuse box. Now, I'm going to guess that's wrong. That is wrong. <laughs> but explain to me, what is backfeed? Well, well, see, what I first want to do is talk to your wife. <laughs> She you know. is the brains of the family. It no, no, that's <laughs> feedback. Right. Yeah. <laughs> because we'll, we'll get you situated for the future on that. All right. <laughs> but, but, yeah, when you do that, uh, that is the same as plugging it into a, a dr- uh, dryer or something of that nature. And it can, the generator power can go towards the telephone poles. And so, so let's. When you do that, it, it can actually feed to your neighbor's house as well. So, yeah, what he's, what he's saying is is that with the pow- power comes into the house. Right. So the receptacle at the dryer, power is actually coming towards the receptacle. If you're taking a generator that's generating electricity mm-hmm. and you plug it into the receptacle, you got power coming to the receptacle. Now you're putting power now you're putting power to the receptacle from the other side. So you're pushing electricity back in the other direction, basically. That's backfeed. Okay. Yes. So pulling the meter off the box and taking jumper cables and connecting it to the two yeah. bottom ones, that's still bad. Yeah. All right. Yes. <laughs> I mean, there's only so many things I can do with my cardboard box I live in in my trailer and my refrigerator outside attached to my tree. Uh, well, one last quick thing before we let you go here, John, because yep. I know you're very, very busy. Um, I'm looking at your website, and I see... 100% satisfaction guarantee. Yes. I don't even offer this to my wife. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how can you offer this? <laughs> uh, 100% satisfaction, uh, that's simple. We just, we do what we say. And if, if there is any issues uh, at all, uh, uh, whether it's uh, something, uh, 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 material equipment, uh, I mean, our warranties, or uh, we, we run uh, two years on, on parts or anything that we install, and uh, and then it's a lifetime on our uh, on our labor. If we, if we did something wrong, your workmanship. It, 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 yeah, it, it's See, it, that's a company. We, we we just stand behind everything we do. Uh, it, it, it's the lawyers that created the contracts and stuff. Yeah. If I could do it all on a handshake, I would. And that that's yeah. the good old days. You know, there's still people. There's still some people today that. And actually, I met a, a contractor down in Hope Sound. Beautiful house, more money than we could shake a stick at. He, to this day, will not sign a contract with anybody. He says to them, you either shake my hand and uphold the, your, what you told me. Well, I mean, that still means a lot. And I've, I've known people like that, that their word is their bond, a handshake as good yeah. as anything. But and it's they a will shame stand that we have it. attorneys. Yeah. That's why they come up with all those jokes. Something yep. about at the bottom of the ocean or something. Right, right. Like that. <laughs> you know, and, and ladies and gentlemen, if you know you want to find out more about Lead Electric, you can go to comforttimelive.com and yep. we'll have a link. Yep, and you can also or just go to directly to Elite uh, Elite Electric and Air dot com on the web. But if you want to give them a call, uh, their uh, customer service representatives are standing by at seven seven two three four zero three seven nine seven. Is that a good number, John? That is a good number. Beautiful. So seven seven two three four zero three seven nine seven. John, it's an absolute pleasure to have you on board with Thank us. Thank you. Yep, and and I'm also excited about tomorrow. Oh, uh, what's tomorrow? Uh, the uh, the the new. Uh, Comfort Time Live show on uh, FM. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Well, we can't talk about that, John, but uh, oh. no, no problem. Um, okay. Um, all right, John. Well, listen, hey, I really appreciate you being on, and I uh, look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Okay. All right, buddy. Have a great day. All right. Bye now. All right. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take another quick break, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's thank uh, Elite Electric for being on with us. It's awesome, awesome to have them on as a sponsor. You're listening to the Tom and Dino on Comfort Time Live, and we'll be back in just a minute. Elite Electric, specializing in all your electrical needs, from security lighting to surge protection and everything in between. How do you think they got their name? Elite Electric. Elite Electric has been family owned and operated on the Treasure Coast since 1988, and they're recommended by Comfort Time Live. Visit online at EliteElectricAndAir.com and learn more about their services. Elite Electric, service today. Proud sponsor of Comfort Time Live, Friday mornings at 11 on WPSL 15. 
Tired of struggling to find the right air conditioning contractor? Heard those horror stories about people being scammed out of thousands of dollars? Well, Comfort Time Live has found a great air conditioning contractor that they approve and you can trust. Ranger Air Conditioning Service. Ranger has been in business on the Treasure Coast for more than 38 years, providing the best in quality and customer service. Ranger Air Conditioning Service is family owned and operated by Tom Ranger. He and his highly trained staff and team members are waiting to earn your business. So give Ranger Air Conditioning Service a call at 772-546-7777. That's Ranger Air Conditioning Service at 772-546-7777 and recommended by Comfort Time Live. Don't forget to tell them you heard about them here on WPSL 1590 and receive a special discount. Benjamin Franklin Plumbing would like to help you schedule some help, whatever on-time help you need. For plumbing emergencies like a busted water heater, go to schedulesomehelp.com. Sewage problems? Schedulesomehelp.com. If water is dripping from your ceiling, schedulesomehelp.com. If you need help repairing that leaky faucet or upgrading your shower head, schedulesomehelp.com. Want help with your golf game? Yep. Schedulesomehelp.com. Right now, get help for $25 at schedulesomehelp.com. Limitations and exclusions apply. See schedulesomehelp.com for full details. And now back to Comfort Time Live with Tom and Dino. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tom, and this I'm Dino. Dino, oh, uh, good. You, you're hey, getting man, quick man. on the draw. Make sure everybody knows who they are. Wow. And you- <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're having fun introducing some of our new sponsors with us today, ladies and gentlemen. We get it, We kind of got off of a topic. We were talking about common home solutions and problems, but uh, but because we got some really good sponsors that are helping Comfort Time Live to be a big success, and the success of Comfort Time Live is to educate you to use the right businesses and how to find the right businesses. And then when you find the right businesses, at least being educated enough to understand a little bit about what they're talking about. Yes. Um, that's the big thing. But, you know, it's very difficult to find good businesses to be on the air. I have turned away so many businesses that wanted to come on and be sponsors of Comfort Time Live. And it's a struggle because it, it, Comfort Time Live is only here because of the sponsors. 100%. Yep. And when you're struggling... And people come to you and you like you see the dollar signs up there and you're like, wow, they could help keep Comfort Time Live alive. But then you don't sacrifice your ethics or your honesty that you're trying to portray to the homeowners because it, it, that's what we're all about. People aren't going to listen if they know that what we're telling them is uh, is not ethical. Right. You know, I'm, we're not here for the dollar signs. We're here to help educate, you know, our you're, listeners. Uh, you're definitely obviously not here for the dollar signs. <laughs> That large paycheck you got last week. <laughs> hey, can I borrow two cents? <laughs> uh, but uh, I think we have uh, our other sponsor on the air uh, from Benjamin Franklin Plumbing. Good yes, morning, Bob. Good morning. Uh, this is Bob Ludlam. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing very good. Oh, and we were uh, we were chatting you up earlier, talking about how much of a part of the community you are, just like uh, John. Well, hopefully uh, it's uh, hopefully it was uh, good stuff. Oh, nothing but good. <laughs> nothing but good. You know, we would, I only say that stuff off the air. The good stuff's on the air, Bob. <laughs> I see how it works. We haven't met Bob, but, uh, you know, everything I've heard, I don't care what everybody else says about you. We like you here. <laughs> well, that's good. I heard I was calling into an improv comedy show. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? <laughs> well, Bob, Benjamin Franklin Plumbing, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I can do that. Let me tell you a little bit about myself personally. Uh, again, my name's Bob Ludlam. I am the owner of Benjamin Franklin Plumbing. And I'm a native Floridian. I'm originally from Melbourne. I've uh, been in P- Port St. Lucie since 1998. I've been a licensed master plumber uh, since about 1987, I believe it is. And we started the business out of our home, actually, in 1991. In 2004, we had an incredible opportunity to get on the ground floor, the fastest-growing plumbing franchise in the country, and that's Benjamin Franklin Plumbing. And we're really glad that we uh, made that step. That's excellent. So uh, a little bit, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's been a good venture. We're really glad that we did it. Beautiful. And you are a busy man. That I know. <laughs> so you keep yourself busy. So tell me, uh, Benjamin Franklin Plumbing, what sets them apart from the other plumbing companies? Well, one of the things, I don't know how much time we got here. I can go on and on, but I'll, I'll try to keep it as brief as possible. And, and the most important thing to me anyways, and I, th- I think to the, the 
general consumer is our team of caring people. We we have a really good team of people, good plumbers, good uh, management, good call takers. Everybody is very caring. Our number one goal is to provide exceptional customer service, and everybody's on the same page with that. And some of the ways that we do that is, you know, number one is our motto. We respect our customers' time. If there's any delay at you, we pay. And what that means is is we truly mean it when we're going to be on time. We pay $5 a minute for every minute we're laid up to $300. Now, what's the time frame that you give a homeowner? I call in a homeowner, I got a problem. What's the service time frame, hour, two hours? Well, we give different options, actually. Um, there is a, a service call fee that we uh, do typically charge sometimes. We do have some free service call advertisements that are out there that uh, we can do same-day service calls. But we have various service call fees uh, based off how quick that they need us and how badly they need us. So if it's a two-hour window, it's a little bit more. And if it's a same-day service call, it's a little bit less. But whatever that time frame is that we quote them that we're going to be there, we're guaranteed to be there on time for them or we wow. pay $5 a minute that we're late. Wow. Now, do you have an option that, let's say, I needed you there at 10 o'clock? Right. And what we'll do at that point is give them a two-hour window. Okay, two-hour window. Okay. All right. And that's what I was kind of thinking about earlier. And then uh, five, $5 for every minute up to $300. That, that, I don't think anybody, I don't, I don't no, know of anyone. No, no, absolutely not. I, I know the cable, the cable company sure as heck doesn't <laughs> do that. <laughs> the pizza company doesn't even do that anymore. Well, we did a lot of surveys on that, and that's something that's important to people. And, and unfortunately, you know, plumbers specifically, they have the bad reputation of just showing up whenever they want and uh, not respecting people's time. So that's one of the things that we wanted to overcome. That's great. So, you know, respecting the time frame for your, you know, your customers and, you know, being prompt, that's, that's fantastic. Yep, and we guarantee it, and there's no excuses. It doesn't matter if we break down traffic accidents. It doesn't matter what the excuse. And if we have to reschedule another day, then it's a $300 check that we write them. Wow, wow. I like that. Now, and honestly, we've done it a couple of times. Things do occur. Guys run a little long. They run behind on schedule. Things do occur. We don't make any excuses. We call them up, apologize, and you got a $300 check coming. And I respect what you just said more than almost the guarantee itself, that you said that we have done that before in the past. But because a lot of folks will lie to you mm -hmm. and say, oh, no, 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 we've never had to give it before. You know, we offer, but we've never had to give it before. Um, but you know what? Nobody is perfect. If you say you are perfect, then you're already lying there and you're not perfect. Right. Um, but I, I respect that a lot that you actually admit that every once in a while it does happen. And um, but I bet you know, knowing you and knowing some of the people you work work with you, your team members, you probably find out what caused that and you probably go right away right, right, to make a correction. You got it, exactly. A good 98.5% of the time, we are on time. So. That is beautiful. Now, um, what other type of guarantees do you mm -hmm. offer? Well, bottom line is the other motto we have is we fix a problem right the first time. We'll provide a two-year written warranty, a written warranty on all our recommended repairs, and that's at a minimum. Wow. Uh, wow. We do have other options for you know longer warranties. Some of our water heaters have extended warranties. We have lifetime water uh, heater warranties. And uh, we, we have what's called a UN 100% satisfaction guarantee. That way they can be confident with the repairs that we do and that we stand behind it. And, you know, you know, for our listeners, listen, folks, instead of calling Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe Plumbing Company <laughs> that comes and, out. And there's a lot of those around. You, you know, shows up in, in a, you know, white panel van truck, you no name on it, and Hi, I'm Joe with Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. No, no, no. And the guy's standing there holding a plunger. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, you know what? This is why you hire good, licensed, competent contractors to come on out do it right the first time. If you do it right the first time, right time, yep. then you're Absolutely. not going to spend all this extra money. And you know why is my you know why is the plumbing pieces coming apart? Yep. You know, oh, they forgot to use glue. You know. And I bet you there's one thing that, if, based on what I saw with the uh, their technicians in the office this morning. There's one thing I can guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, that you will never, ever see at Benjamin Franklin Plumbing. What's that? And, Bob, you tell me if I'm wrong on this, okay? Plumber's crack. <laughs> <laughs> Not if we can help. Oh. <laughs> I get it. Because their, their, their technicians are professionally dressed in great uniforms. And they know how to pull their pants up. <laughs> yeah. They do wear belts. They do wear belts. Suspenders if the belt doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. But... No, just very professional. Now, here's something that I know our audience is really going to like, and I, I found this out when Ty was uh, your uh, – now, Ty, what position is Ty in your business? He's our service manager. Service manager. Ty's a great guy. Um, 
his wife's even nicer than he is. Unfortunately, you know, there's always got to be a plus with a minus. Right. But uh, <laughs> well, we always say our better half, right? The better half, exactly. But your phone number that Ty gave to me eight six seven five three zero nine. Do you guys still use that? Uh, occasionally, we are going to be making a transition okay. on that. But that is that was part of some of our. Uh, marketing that we used to do if anybody recognizes that number now if they were to call that number where would it go to oh yeah it'll still it'll still ring into us we just don't market as, as as strong as we used to oh okay now the beginning of that is what 866 right okay so 866-8675-309 that's an easy number to remember but if you go to the website you can either go to benjamin franklin plumbing florida.com or you can go to comforttimelive.com and go under the sponsors link but their phone number is 866-BEN- 1776. You got it. Um, a great way to contact. Now, t- tell me real quick, some of the things, we got just a couple minutes left, what are some of the big things that you're doing in the local community, Bob? Well, um, I do personally serve on the Solar Energy Loan Fund Board, and if somebody needs some uh, green energy improvements in their home, solar hot water, uh, for one example, uh, there's some really good financing opportunities there. I serve on the Treasure Coast Builders Association Board. Um, and we're always, as a company, we're always looking for ways to give back to the community, help people out. Uh, there's just a, a, a lot. We, we've been here for 21 years, like I said earlier, and we want to give back to the community in every opportunity that we get. That's awesome. That awesome. And Go ahead. No, I'm just, you know, uh, along with what we said earlier was, you know, to have a company that gives back to the community, you know it's priceless it's just showing that you care about your community you care about where you live you care about your customers and you want to be involved i like that and we're impressed with our plumbers they run into that occasionally and some people you know they have some very serious plumbing problems and they just physically cannot afford to fix them so there has been times that we've donated product and the guys have actually donated their time to help some people out so when people are really really in trouble we'll do what it takes to help them out that makes a difference that makes a difference well Bob, I'm absolutely excited to have you as part of the Comfort Time Live family, and I I really appreciate you helping us to get the word out there to the listeners on that there is a difference when you contact people to do business in your home, that the low ball price doesn't, well, 99% of the time doesn't always get you what you Right. Which no, it's for. not always in the customer's best interest, that's for sure. And, and we want our customers to never have to look for another plumber again. It's about trust and reliability, and that's what we're all about. That's good. It. Well, that's awesome. Well, Bob, I know you're a busy man. I want to thank you so much. Please give my best to everyone at the office, and uh, be safe, and we'll be talking to you soon. Will do. Thank you, Tom. I'm honored to be on the show. Appreciate it. Thank you it. very much, Bob. Uh-huh. All right. Bye-bye. Awesome. 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 Um, Benjamin Franklin Plumbing. It was, I tell you, it was... I knew these guys, but it, you know, it's tough being able to really truly because I had to dig deep in their businesses. You know, just because you got a, just because you got a, a franchise name doesn't mean that you, as the individual, are running that franchise appropriately. Right. You know, there's other places out there like uh, there's an air conditioning company called One Hour, which is got it's got a, some good reputation someplace, but in some areas it's absolutely horrid. But it's not the name. It's the people running the business. Right. And so when I met Bob, and I mean, I've, I've, I've been dealing with Bob now for a little while, it makes a huge difference when you have the right person behind the scenes instilling um, the ethical conduct behind the scenes. It's character. Yeah. You, you know, it's good, solid character. You know, we were talking about competency testing. You know, I was talking about it's frustrating because the licensing board, the D- Department of Business and Professional Regulations, Bob goes and gets the license, mm-hmm. okay? Bob's the brains of the operation. But, but if Bob doesn't do his job properly to educate continually his technicians, follow up on his technicians to make sure that they are doing the, a great job, every single client that they walk into, that's when you have these yahoos that go out there, and you can't necessarily say well the company's bad because that employee was a bad employee but you can say that maybe they don't have the best training practices and and that's what's great about these two guys is they they're constantly doing training i walked in there this morning they were doing training i was in lead electric they were doing training they're constantly training but the great thing is is they have systems in place to find that the issues are there before they get too big it you always have to do continuing education uh, and learning. I mean, everything's changing. I mean, look where look yeah. where computers and TVs and stuff were, and I mean, phones. 
you have to know. I mean, you buy a phone today, and three three days later, it's obsolete. Yes. <laughs> the iPad. You buy a new iPad. You know, six months later, the new one comes out. You buy the new one, the new one comes out. You, you know, it, it's trying to stay up on the times. But, you know, with the continuing education with plumbers and stuff, you need to know, does this guy know to use primer before glue and not the other way around? you got to have the purple stuff. Yeah. I mean, you I, know, don't, I, don't, I don't know too much about it. When but. you're laying your pipe, you got to have the purple stuff on there to make sure that the glue is going to stick. And, that, you know, I just know a little bit about yeah. that. Yeah. So um, continuing education. Yeah. So we're going to be doing a lot, lot more with... Uh, with uh, Ben Franklin Plumbing, Bob, and with Elite Electric, John. Now, here's some of the great things. If you folks during our show have questions, when you call in, like here on the AM show, you call in at 340-1590. If you have a question about plumbing or electrical or anything, we're going to do our best to pick up the phone and contact our sponsors and let them, the professionals, answer your question. We've got them on speed dial. Live on the air. That was one of my new things when I was bringing them on as a sponsor is that I would like you to have someone available during the shows where we can contact you and you as a professional can answer. Because there's some of these questions I can answer. There's a lot of these questions I can't answer. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop educating you because I don't know the answer right now. I'm going to find people for you that can. You know, we were talking about, um, I think it was, uh, I want to say Henry Ford, that was in a court trial for something. And if somebody knows this story, please call in 340-1590 and correct me. But I want to say it was Henry Ford, and the, and the attorney was questioning him on the stand and started asking him questions about his business. And a majority of the questions he couldn't answer. So the attorney goes, well, Mr. Ford, why can't you answer these questions? Son, because in my business, I don't have to know everything. I just have to know where to get the answer from. That's right. And that's why I surround myself with pre- people that have the answers. Yeah. You don't, you, know, you don't need to know the answers to everything. You just need to know where to find it. Right. You know, you clog your head with a bunch of useless information that you may use once in your lifetime. Well, why, sh- why should I do that? Pick a phone call up. Right, Bob? That's right. Right, John? Right. Right, Fred? I mean, I'm not going to clog my, my brain with your name. I mean, you, you'll tell me each time I need to. Well. You'll say, oh, by the way, it's Dino. Oh, okay. You know. And <laughs> but, but that's the important thing, ladies and gentlemen, is, is, is knowing where to go for the answer. So that's why we're bringing on these great sponsors. We are still looking for more sponsors to help be on the show. Anything to do with your home, from taxes to construction, we'd like to get some great educated people on here to help answer those questions for you, ladies and gentlemen. We don't want you to stray. Now, remember, you can always go to ComfortTimeLive.com, where we are constantly making changes and upgrading. But thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to Comfort Time Live. Have I'm a great Tom. day. I'm Dino. Have a great weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye now. Don't forget to visit ComfortTimeLive.com on the World Wide Web and Blog Talk Radio. This is WPSL Port St. Lucie. Comfort Time Live is just another one of the many reasons why we're the talk of the Treasure Coast. Stay tuned for three hours of Rush Limbaugh, followed by Tom Sullivan, here on Digital 1590 WPSL, Port St. Lucie. And the time right now is 12 o'clock. CBS News, I'm Steve Kathan. There's breaking news from the sports world. I'll Have Another is out of tomorrow's Belmont Stakes. It means there will be no Triple Crown winner this year. The last one was 34 years ago. Reporter Brad Tellius is live at Belmont. Brad, what happened? Well, we're getting reports that it was an injury to his attendant possibly early this morning. He was out at 5.30 a.m. Eastern here at Belmont for a workout. Normally they go out at 8.30 to 8.45. So somebody thought that there was something amiss right there and then. And then later on the reports came uh, that, in fact, indeed it was an injury to uh, attendant. There's even some talk now that this horse may be retired. And as you say, no triple crown for 34 years.